Hey girl, let's go ahead and talk about it. It is Tuesday, November 28th, 11.20. And today is my first day of apartment shopping. So this first place that I'm going to, it's a really nice place, it's a nice location. It's a location that I've actually been wanting to move to for quite some time. It's either having a special on their homes so I really want to go and really just kind of get some information, really see it in person, and really see if I like this home. This time, I'm not just going with the first choice. I'm going, I have a couple homes that I really do want to take a look at, and this is the first one. And this is one of the nicer homes in the nicer location. I've been trying to call them all morning, and they have not been answering, but online it says that they're open. So I'm taking this risk to drive over there and see if they're there. But I'm just really excited to be documenting this journey with you guys. I've been ready to move from my place for quite some time. I really didn't plan on staying here as long as I did, but I had to for multiple reasons. It's really time to just close this chapter of living here and really move on to the next so you guys are coming along with me on this journey i'm documenting it and i'm super just excited to see what god's gonna do and what doors he's gonna open for me as far as living situation and let's go ahead and make our way to the first location hey y'all real quick so i just want to update you guys i wasn't able to actually go to that place that i was initially getting ready to go to but i did get a hold of them i had to literally jump through some hoops just to get a hold of them but they were able to squeeze me in for later on today around 1 30 but i did um i am going to the next place that was kind of on my list so i'm gonna go ahead and check it out here and see if i can bring you guys with me okay so fingers crossed girl so um update um just left the first place and um i'm gonna rate that a uh zero out of ten because it's not what i'm looking for so that's already a no i'm at the next place that was like literally right around the corner it wasn't let I me mean, actually it was something on my it was one of the places on my list that i wanted to take a look at they weren't answering so first i don't know why people ain't answering today but I, i'm gonna go inside to see if they're able to take me today that's tink tink in the back by the way complaining um but yeah so i'm gonna see if they're able to see me while i'm killing time until i go to the one that i want to see so just get so we're gonna see doing it on my phone and quality and space is just it's not enough okay papa it's okay oh i like how there's a lot of space in here and the refrigerator okay oh perfect perfect that's good to know Your girl moved. <laughs> Y'all, your girl moved. <clears throat> okay, I know <clears throat> I know I'm starting this vlog off crusty and dusty, but it's okay. <laughs> it is okay. It's long time no freaking see. Long time no see. 
but welcome back to my channel it is your girl here Ajane for those who don't know me and I post all faith beauty fashion and lifestyle videos and it is the holy girls gang over here okay but before we get into this video as always make sure you like comment and subscribe to your girl's channel hit that thumb bell notification so you can stay up to date whenever your girl posts any new videos yes ma'am okay so let's get into it we have a lot of catching up to do and we are definitely going to get into that but to be honest i'm not even gonna lie i don't really know where to start like i didn't plan on coming on here looking kind of crazy but i really wanted to actually like show the process of me like moving and getting my stuff in here but it didn't go as planned it was messy and just a lot of other things but um but we're here i have majority of my stuff over here no i have all of my stuff over here only thing that i need to go back and get is my table i came in from amazon i ordered all my furniture i brung all of my stuff over and i'm getting new things too as well along the way so yeah right now you guys it's literally day one of me living here i moved in yesterday which was the 18th i moved in on yesterday which was uh monday i, I don't can mommy see that please thank, thank you don't mess with those um but yeah i moved in on the 18th which was on a monday the next morning and we're putting things together i already kind of got my bathroom situated i just need to i do need to still go out and get some more things my family member my uncle my cousin they're gonna come over and help me put together my bed put my tv on the wall um my couch is coming in early than expected so i'm gonna be putting my couch together my dining table together and then i do need to go back out and get some more groceries kind of get a little couple things for the house i yesterday i went and got me some cleaning supplies so i do need to kind of clean everything down that's actually what i'm in the process of doing i already woke up a seer and um fed him made breakfast for us and i'm gonna give him a bath later but yeah i'm just kind of like in the process of just kind of getting everything together and settled in i'm just in awe because this is literally an answered prayer that i'm standing in and we'll go more into detail on how literally God has made this even possible for me. But all I can say is don't doubt God and what he has planned for you. Like I didn't even think it, it was going to even be possible for me to even move. I just said, you know what? I, I was like, you know, I'm going to stay at my old place for another year, stack up, whatever, and just move forward. But God made a way out of no way. And I didn't even know. I didn't know how I was going to get the job. I didn't know how I was going to get the place. Ah, ah, ah. Don't put that in there. I didn't know how I was even going to have the money to even do all this. Like I said, I'm going to go in to story mode later. Probably like towards the end of the video. But yeah, I think I'm going to just kind of have you guys come along with me today. I'm definitely not going to do y'all dirty. I'm going to definitely try to make this like an hour long vlog if I can. Yeah, it's going to be kind of just y'all coming along with me. Putting things together. Getting things situated. Getting things organized. I live on such I live in such a beautiful area like I just have all the great amenities like it's amazing like I just feel like I can have asked for a better place to live like <laughs> I just can't believe that I'm in an answer prayer y'all like y'all like God really and like God really do be making a way but it's all in his perfect timing though that's the thing like it it's just all in his perfect timing just gotta trust it and I'm like so excited to like talk to my therapist I have a therapy meeting today at two i need to confirm that with her but i'm so excited because she's been rocking with me for about like a year almost about a year now i want to say and she's been knowing my story like all the things that i've been going through with financials and living situation and you know separating from you know my baby's dad and stuff like that like it's just been a really rough like two years you guys but anyways like i said we'll get into that later right now i'm in my kitchen i'm gonna give y'all a little tour of everything by the way y'all i got me a new phone <laughs> i got the iphone 15 um pro or plus it's the plus iphone 15 plus and i love it y'all i never i didn't even think i was gonna be able to get this phone anytime soon but i'm like God is good, y'all. I didn't have to put no money down for this phone. I had traded in my old phone that I had for like two, two, almost going on three years. Took very good care of it. Traded it in and my trading value covered the whole down deposit cost. And yeah, so we got a new phone. Now, my one thing I will say is that I am sad that I did not, I didn't realize, I keep, I always forget this part. Like I always wait, forget until the last minute. I forgot to ask him how much storage was on it so it's the same amount of storage and i said if i'm gonna upgrade to a new phone i want at least a little bit more storage but that's it, it is what it is you know so we're just gonna rock with what we got 
I still got the 128 gigabytes of storage. But other than that, I love the pink and I'm obsessed. So new phone, new number, who this? Hello? Yeah. So yeah, let me go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a tour. And like I said, y'all, like I said, I'm in the process of cleaning, so don't come for me. But Ting Ting is, as you can see, he's getting getting in the groove of things. But this Mommy. is the kitchen, you guys. <laughs> don't put that in the trash can, Papa. So I am, this is the kitchen. Like I said, it is a mess right now, but I'm cleaning up. You know, we got the double sinks. Okay, I'm also going to be going to Target and getting like the little marble sticking, the white marble sticking countertop cover. So I'm definitely going to be covering that up with some oh whoa whoa my camera y'all that little white lens has been messing up my camera lens so let's pray to god that we won't be having issues with that but yeah i'm gonna be changing the countertops i got microwave lots of storage and stuff my refrigerator i love the refrigerator i love the floors i got dishwasher and i got the island bar top or something like that so we come over here you guys like i said i just got stuff everywhere but don't mind that but yeah this is the dining area we got the high ceilings okay love the lighting in here especially at night time but this is the living room y'all i'm obsessed with my living room and these walls are like ugh, i love the walls but yeah we got high ceilings we got the door i put this up yesterday these tink tink's photos and we got an electric fireplace i love it only thing I will say is I do not like this little dent in the wall or whatever you want to call it. So, but this is where I'm going to be putting the TV. I seen like most people put the TV there, but it makes no sense. So I'm putting my TV and I'm hanging it up there and I'm gonna get like an extended um, TV mount where it extends out so that I can push it out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna just be using my TV. But that over there, I want to say that's the stuff for my table. And then the table top is like at home. So I got to go grab it. But that's like the legs. And I think the chair for the table. This, I want to say, I want to say this is my bed. This is my new bed frame. So I got a new bed. And then, yeah, I got some stuff out here. And then I also have like my little outdoor patio area. Not too much, y'all. Y'all don't need to see too much. But... And then let's make our way over here. We got extra closet space. This will probably just be where the broom, dust pan, vacuum cleaner goes. And then in here is the washer and dryer stackable. Washing some clothes right now. This is my bathroom. Love the bathroom. Just love it. I need to get a shower curtain and stuff like that. And like I said, I'm gonna be changing because I don't like this gray countertop. I'm just not, I don't like it, but I love it. It's just about the like the same size as my countertop back at home. Um, but I also have a medicine cabinet. I love that. So I put some of my medicines in there. Yesterday, I already went ahead and put my stuff in here. I'm gonna be changing those pink containers out to clear ones, y'all. So yeah, so I have that. I have my hair stuff and then I have that i want to change those off to clear but it's not really a priority right now but and then i just got my hair stuff down on the wig y'all know me hair makeup stuff down there hanged my little thing up there and then my second favorite part is my room Star. this is my room y'all i am in the process of my bed my mattress is on the floor so yeah, but like I said, my bed's getting made today. So TV's gonna go up here. It's currently right there. So much lighting. I just love the lighting. I'm putting my cheers light over here. Double doors for the closet. I have enough closet space for me and this year. So I already got some of my clothes hanged up. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. That's why I've been gone for a while because one, um, I know I, I just the Lord really just really wanted me to take some time and some space away to really just kind of really get into a routine with just focusing on my son and on work and on preparing to move and stuff like that. So it's just been very, not even a lie, it's been very hard and stressful, challenging, but the fact that I'm standing in my answered prayer is just, I don't know, it's just mind blowing. Like I can't really process it, you guys. It's it's crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and basically just kind of get ready, I guess, kind of start cleaning up. Um, you guys can kind of just go through this process with me. I'm not even gonna lie. I have like no motivation. 
Like I'm excited and I'm ready to get my home together, but not that I have a lot to do. It's just I don't feel like doing it right now. I'm about to go ahead and start cleaning. So let's get into it, y'all. charged now so I can kind of talk to y'all but home is coming together only thing I will say about this couch y'all that I'm not messing with is that it's so small to y'all it probably looks big but it is so small I think I'm gonna lower my frame because why does it look like that I don't know but I need pillows but y'all it's not done inflating I think by tomorrow it'll be fully inflated inflated but I need to get some pillows, of course. But my cousins helped me put it together. 
it looks darker compared to your guys' point of view. But yeah, y'all, this is my couch. I got an L sectional and I like it. Um, I got my TV up here for right now. All these boxes I gotta take out, y'all. It's crazy, y'all. My cousin, me and my cousin got the table up. I love this, y'all. Let me know if y'all want the details. This is glass. This is glass, you guys. It is so freaking nice. I got my bed, my mattress right there, but I love the table. Can't wait to get some designs for it. And then we got the cuzzos in here putting the bed together. It took them a while. Yeah. Oh, let me not get more. And then we got the mount on for the TV. guys okay don't come for me because i ain't gonna lie it's actually been quite a few days since i last picked up my camera and i know i said i was gonna kind of update you guys on i don't even remember the last thing i said i haven't even looked at my footage like i haven't i just been really bad with this video so if i do decide to post this video if i get confirmation from god um then yeah please forgive me y'all i've just been really trying to settle in you know physically and mentally like this has been like an answered prayer but also really grieving for me so <laughs> give me some grace y'all but let me kind of tune y'all in it is saturday march 23rd 9 39 and i'm actually getting ready for work um i'm gonna be heading out here in a moment so i'm already ready dressed to go but i just wanted to pop in on here and kind of update you guys because i'm like dang i have not picked up the camera i have not even like been taking y'all along with me to get other stuff for my home um and that's what i did uh the following day or that's i don't like i said i don't even remember the last place we had left off but um i have went to target i think i also went to marshall's burley no i think i went to burlington and then i had got some extra stuff for the home um i got me new bedding and i didn't like i didn't record me putting any of that stuff together because i was just like i just i don't know like i haven't really been vlogging and i actually did had a video that i was recording for it was kind of like a day or a week in my life and i don't know i just felt like i was just literally in the process of getting ready to transition and switch it just it was like what's the point of even recording this right now when I'm literally going through a really, you know, a hard time right now and I'm getting ready to transition. So it's like all the stuff that I was putting in there was just made no sense, you know. So I'm like, you know what, I decided because I was going to edit it and maybe possibly post it. But I'm like, no, I'm just going to throw the, throw all that, that, throw that whole video away. And we're just going to start here and be like, y'all, I moved. And that's exactly what we're doing. Um, also, I don't have my wide lens on right now because I've been having some issues with it, girl. So if... I look very zoomed in it's because I don't have my lens on but let me kind of just kind of stop rambling and kind of update y'all on some of the stuff that I have in here it's not like a crazy amount but before I um get ready to leave for work I do kind of want to update y'all really quickly so let's just start with the room since I'm already in here so this is my bedroom you guys um, the, I, I'm in a one bedroom, one bath. That's what I have. Um, so I did get a whole new um, bed frame and headboard and stuff like that. I literally have like the same type of one that of my last one, but I got a new headboard. If y'all can tell, like it's like suede material and uh, it's just like, it's kind of like a couch material and it's so pretty. It has like these little boards on the side. Like it's so beautiful. I love it. And then I went ahead and got me some new bed sheets. Yeah, I did all white. I'm kind of like, oh, because I have my son. So I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I got to really be careful with him. And I got to really make sure that when I wash my comforter that I'm washing it correctly. Because I don't know. Like, I got to be careful when I wash comforters. Like, I'm not the best. Like, I don't want to. I'm definitely have to wash it by itself for sure. Like, with nothing else. Like, just this comforter alone. But yeah, y'all. So my bed's in here. And then when you turn around, I just love the lighting here too, by the way. My um, TV's on the wall. I have my old mirror. I'm definitely getting more, um, I'm definitely getting more stuff in here, of course, but I'm taking it, you know, day by day, payday by payday. So, but this is my fit that I'm wearing for work, you guys. And like I said, we're definitely gonna catch up. It's kind of a little foggy a little bit, but we're definitely gonna catch up and kind of go into like what's all been going on. <laughs> but yeah um i got my little cheers light right here 
in here I have double doors for my closet. I have a lot of closet space. I do not have a walk-in closet. I mean, it's kind of like a walk-in closet, but not really. But I do have a lot of space, you guys. Um, and I'm still organizing my closet, so that's definitely going to take some time to kind of still piece together but and then going into the hallway here is my bathroom my bathroom is so much bigger than my last one and i love it um i just have so much space but i think i showed all y'all this anyway but yeah i did um go ahead and get these new little like i forgot what you call it but to wash your hands you know i got a new one i want it kind of more like a modern look and i got this and um i did get some new one new shower hooks black i just feel like it goes with the aesthetic i couldn't find like a shower curtain so right now i just have this clear thing and i kind of actually like it i still have my black mats um and yeah i just i love the lighting here y'all like the lighting is just it's everything it's everything okay here is i do need to clean my washer like i have i washed my rugs because they were really wet from my last place and it was just starting to smell like mildew but yeah stackable washer and dryer love it finally figured out how to use it <laughs> then i have this side closet we're not going to go in there because it's atrocious right now um but here is got the light for this right here too let me turn these lights off because we ain't running no power bill but i also i'm like rushing because i gotta get ready to go soon but um love my dining table love my dining table so much like it's a little nasty right now because i have my cousins over the other day and i'm so sorry y'all like i'm gonna i'm gonna answer some clips <laughs> You know so y'all can see but we had a good time but yeah love this dining table and if you guys want the links to any of my furniture i'm most definitely gonna add them into this video if i post it but i keep getting so many compliments about this table this table is everything everything glass table the chairs like it was so easy to put together so got the table came with the chairs um this is still from my last place this is new i got this from burlington for seven dollars i got this candle it's black amber it smells amazing um, I got this from Target and I love it and I just think it just goes really well. Um, I just love it. Like, ugh. And then I got my little side closet I'm still organizing. I'm definitely replacing these little pink little baskets and, you know, I'm going to make it look very aesthetic in here. So I'm still working on that too. And then, of course, my son's little high chair. And um, nothing really too different. I have my little containers. Gonna keep those, maybe replace them. But I'm still working on my kitchen. I'm definitely changing my countertops for the most part. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really new with my kitchen at the moment. This is the living room. Y'all seen the couch. The couch is put together. If I didn't show y'all, I still got this photo, but I'm definitely going to get rid of it. I'm not sure I'm gonna get rid of it or place it somewhere else, but yeah, that's that. Getting pillows, couch is small, but from you guys, it probably might look big, but it's really not that bad though, but I do like it, it is comfortable, and I just need to get some decorative pillows, but yeah, I got my fireplace going on because it's cold and it's electric, by the way, y'all. I got some photos on the wall, and yeah, that's pretty much it at the moment. Um, like I said, I'm still getting everything together. I still have so many ideas of what I want to do. Not sure if I should get like a little dining, little, not dining table, but like, you know, one of those little glass tables to put in the middle. I don't know. I just want Sierra to have enough space to kind of roam around here. And I don't want to have to worry about him like hitting his head and having to go across it. So yeah. And then I have my outdoor patio area out there. Um, there's really nothing out there besides a the chair. Um, but yeah, you guys, like, I can't, I just still can't believe that I'm, like, standing in an answer prayer. Like, this is what I literally put on my vision board. And I did not think that it was going to be possible. Like, I'm really shocked that I, like, was able to move. And I just, I'm just in awe with God. Like, wow, like, he literally made all this happen for me. And I'm just so blessed and so grateful and so thankful, y'all. Like, y'all just don't understand how grateful and thankful I am to literally be here and just in this amazing home and just like working this amazing job and new job okay not not the one that I recently just like got like a couple months ago like I left that job I'm in a whole new different job um and I'm just loving it and it's just everything just works out so perfectly it's literally crazy and I just can't wait to kind of give y'all my testimony and we'll definitely talk about that <laughs> hold on I need to I need to actually get my stuff together. I need to get my purse. No, I think my purse is already there, but I need to grab my jacket. So, 
set y'all right here. I don't know, y'all might probably cut off because my um battery is dying, so I definitely need to charge that. I think I'm gonna wear this jacket. Y'all, I have been loving just getting cute again, like getting professional business. Y'all probably already know like what kind of job I went back to. If y'all don't, then it is what it is. I don't know. But I'm trying not to really tell all my business because these days you just really gotta be careful because people really, people really will really try to be up in your business and be a little weird. But it's, it, it's 9.48, so but yeah i'm trying to be there early <laughs> and it's crazy like it's just crazy i'm not gonna say too much but not too much not too much but um but yeah y'all i'm i'm just so happy i'm really i'm really happy just know that and y'all probably can kind of tell but not can kind of y'all can tell i'm happy and yeah y'all like i'm just super excited to i definitely wanted to let y'all know like i didn't want to just leave y'all hanging and be like Ooh, doo -doo, I'm here doing my own thing like I definitely haven't given up on YouTube but I've definitely been like taking a break because just where I was at I just there's just really I just I don't know it just kind of felt like how am I even like trying to record I'm going through this right now like this is in like <sighs> this just was I can't I can't even form the words like it just wasn't even it just didn't make sense to record anymore at that moment now all the more reasons to really record and yeah so yeah i'm loving it i need to get my charger so i can charge my camera while i'm gone but yeah you guys that's that's it so far with the comments on everything as y'all know if y'all move you know can't just get everything at once as much as i want to I, like i'm just itching to get everything all at once but god's like all right <laughs> do that if you want to i'm gonna have to tell you i told you so but yeah, I'm just taking my time. Where is my charger for my camera? Quit playing with me. Is this my charger? No, it's not. Girl, you know, it's probably in that little other bag. Because I'm like, where the freak is it? Let me get myself together. Hold on. Ugh, okay. Surprise y'all didn't. But, okay, y'all. So, I don't know. Am I tripping or is this, like, bright? I don't know. It feels kind of orange. I don't know. But, it's okay. Anyways, um, but yeah, I'm getting ready to leave. I'm about to charge this. Um, I'm about to charge my tablet, and then I need to charge my camera so when I come back and talk to you guys, like, I can kind of sit where I want to sit. But yeah, girl, I'm getting ready to go to work, head up out of here, and I'm gonna be talking to you guys when I come back, and we'll probably just wrap up the vlog. Probably be recording behind the scenes because I, you know, probably will just start something else but take my time with editing it like now that I have like my setup and I'm in my own space now like I can really kind of record how I want to record you know what I'm saying but um for those who have been checking up on me and have been letting me know and worrying about where I've been where's the vlogs I appreciate y'all I didn't even think y'all really cared but I appreciate y'all and this is why I haven't been posting like that because I've been preparing for this or even trying to see if this was going to happen but I'm going to go to work and then we will catch up um, when I get off. Um, and yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. So see you in like 2.5 seconds. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm back. I had to delete some footage because it was saying I didn't have any storage. I feel like I'm kind of like not. Now I'm being picky. Extra. Anyways, y'all. So yeah, I basically, as I was saying, I'm going to, after this, <sighs> After I kind of go into a little detail on why <laughs> I moved and stuff and how this even happened and behind the scenes of everything, then I'm going to make it long story short. I really don't want to prolong it or anything like that. I really just want to kind of keep it like not too much, but I just pray that it can just be a testimony to anyone who's listening and watching um, and just to know that literally God literally just he's just he has a plan for everything and he has a perfect timing for everything and knowing that whatever you're going through whether it's devastating challenging grieving like it feels like it's the end of the world to you I just want you to know that your pain and your suffering has a purpose period like there's nothing more to that your pain and suffering has a purpose it's it's 
not for waste. It's not going to be a waste. There is a purpose for your suffering. There is a reason why you're going through what you're going through. And yeah, maybe it could have been avoided, but at the end of the day, our suffering literally pulls us closer to God. And literally, God is able to make us strong in our weaknesses, literally. When we are weak, he is strong, and he literally gives us the grace and the endurance to keep going and pushing through what we're going through. It's not always going to take away what may be really challenging and hard for you, but he's definitely going to give you the strength to get through it. So as y'all know, at first when I started my channel, you know, your girl was not pregnant, had no kids, but um, I was staying in Chicago when I first started my channel. Um, and I was recently had got engaged and I had the, vi I had made a video and I was talking about that stuff, but I ended up deleting the video because at that time I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to really do YouTube about. But anyways, fast forward, I ended up not getting engaged, I ended up moving back home, which is Washington in the state of Washington. And yeah, I ended up, you know, getting in a relationship and I ended up having a child. It wasn't planned at all, but I love my son and that is that. And I'm so thankful for him because he is a blessing. And um, yeah, just during that whole time, it was just really hard with me and his baby dad. We were um, living together ever since, even during my whole pregnancy where we were staying together, even after my pregnancy, we were staying together and it was really challenging it was really hard and you know like as i draw closer to god you know i started to you know just not have the same interest in certain things and you know like when god has his spirit in you like you're now set apart from the world and you just whatever god doesn't like you don't like you know whatever his will is for you that is what you start wanting to do you end up not wanting your own way you end up wanting his way and that's basically as simple as i'm going to keep it is that you know i started wanting what god wanted for me you know and i forgave myself for um you know what i was doing and stuff like that and god showed me that you know it's it's time to you know go in this direction so you know for that whole for that whole time after my i had my son you know god was telling me like it's time to move out and get your own place so i've been working towards that but that whole time like i was going through a lot of challenging things that you guys aren't aware about and th those are some things i'm still going to keep to myself but just know that it was hard it was challenging it was rough there was times i was crying and just like like god like why am i going through this like when am i going to be able to get out of this situation you know and when am I going to be able to just, you know, be, you know, at peace and be happy again, you know? So, and I would always ask, like, you know, I know you want me to, you know, live holy. And I know you want me to, you know, wait until marriage and stuff like that. And not having sex outside of marriage and stuff. I know you want me to restrain from that. And I know you want to keep me from being in that type of intent keep me away from being tempted to being able to do that so I knew moving out and having my own place was something he wanted but I just didn't know how it was gonna happen I didn't have the funds I didn't have the savings I didn't have the job at the time and I know some of y'all know that I had recently around that time had started a new job and stuff like that um and then even then I was just like okay like this isn't working out this isn't gonna be able to help me be able to live on my own and stuff like that so that was frustrating and you know I was seeking therapy during that time a lot of y'all know that I was doing therapy so I was doing that and that was helpful um and also along the way just going through a lot of other things friendships falling apart and not working out and stuff like that and you know like <laughs> just a lot of just crazy things but I've also learned to surrender you know to God's will I learned he just taught me so many things how to trust him more I just literally during that process little by little he was changing me through those hard challenging moments he was teaching me things and I was actually applying them you know like we want to not only just be yours, we want to be doers. You know, if we really want to experience God's glory and his freedom, we actually have to apply the principles that he gave us. So I was like really pushing myself like, okay, Ajane, don't just read the Bible, but do what God is telling you in the in his word, you know? So yeah, fast forward, you know, we're coming down to the point in time where my lease was getting um, to um, expire and I needed to know if I was going to renew it or not. And I was like, God, I don't know how this is going to happen. You know, tax returns are coming up. I'm like, well, let me hurry up and do my taxes. Maybe God wants me to do my taxes. Who knows? Last year, I had to, I wasn't able to do my taxes. So I was like, you know what, let me try this year. 
you know, so I did my taxes, got approved. That ended up being enough money for me to be able to move. And um, I ended up getting, I was, you know, I was applying to jobs and stuff like that. I wasn't getting any luck until God literally, you know, I didn't, and I also, I didn't want to work really far. I wanted to be close to home, you know, for a baby, you know, for my son. So that way I'm able to take him to, you know, um, his babysitters and stuff like that. Like I just did not want to be far because I also know me when it comes to getting up and going to work and stuff like I'm still working on time management, but God made it to a point where I was still going to be able to be local to everything. And um, so I ended up, you know, one interview that worked out perfectly, ended up getting the job. My schedule worked out perfectly for, you know, my son and his father. And um, I ended up finding a, a great home and stuff like that. It just, I was just like, what because i put it on my my you know my vision board for this year that i wanted to move but i was like i'm not even sure how that's gonna happen not sure if god if that's what god wants you know i believe it but you know i'm just gonna you know we're just gonna wait and see you know and i said god if you don't want me to move then cool i'm gonna look at that as a sign i, I just been saying like god let your will be done if it's your will then it's gonna happen i don't gotta chase anything i don't gotta you know, I don't got to tug and force anything like whatever is meant for me is meant for me. I don't have to chase it. It's going to chase after me. You know what I'm saying? And that's literally what it was. I didn't have to chase. I didn't have to force. I just had to just be patient and let God's timing happen. And that's exactly what I did. I started being more obedient. You know, I've been trying to get into fasting. So I finally been getting into that. Just, you know, just being obedient and just letting my will die and letting his will be done so fast forward girl i'm literally standing in a a answered prayer y'all standing in an answer prayer i really literally went back to my uh bible app and i was going through my prayer list and stuff and i remembered around august i had put this prayer in here i was like god i need a new home i need these things and i went and i list all the details of the things that i wanted to be in there and literally i got i literally got all the things and then some you know um there are some things that i don't have that i in the future want but that's okay i'm gonna make it work you know i said i wanted a two-bedroom and i got approved for a two-bedroom but i was like you know what? i'm gonna live below my means and um i i just wanted to be smart i said you know i could go for this two-bedroom but you know what i'm gonna go for a one-bedroom and i'm gonna live below my means and i'm gonna save my money and i'm gonna stack and i'm gonna be a good steward over what i have and then when it's the right time because i just feel like you know this two-bedroom you know i just feel like this wasn't the right time for it even though i could have done it but i just wanted to be smart but yeah so other than that you guys that's basically the long story short your girl moved your girl accomplished her vision for one of her things your girl can say she can check off one of her um answered prayers and you know her check off the picture off her vision board like this is, you know, this was one of the pictures I put for my vision board where I said the new home is coming and literally I said, I'm going to take a picture just like that when I get my new home. Okay. And then baby, guess what? Hold on. Where's the picture? Boom. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, it's still like just, I'm still like trying to process. Like, am I really in my own home? What? When I was crying, not even knowing how this was gonna work out, am I really standing here? It is insane, girl. So yeah, your girl, <laughs> your girl is in her new home and loving it and happy as can be. Um, but don't get it twisted, y'all. Like I'm still like I'm still grieving though. Like you know, breakups are not fun. Like separation is not fun, especially when you love someone. Um, but that's why I've also just been like absent. Like I've just been getting ready for this transition. And I'm like, right now is just not a good time. Like, you know, like, yeah, it's, I do want to like take you guys along with me through my journey, but I like, I really feel like God said, also, I, I need you to just sit down and just focus on your son and just spend time with me, you know? And that's what I really needed because I ain't gonna lie y'all, YouTube was kind of stressing me out. And I was like, I just really just don't really have time for like, every week i just kept feeling like i just wasn't having time for youtube anymore like it was getting hard to find the right times to edit and stuff like that like don't get me wrong like i will be able to now you know but i'm also just like when god gives me the green light on when i can start posting like at least once a week you know i will let y'all know but um yeah i just wanted to update y'all your girl moved 
and I am happy and so blessed and so thankful and I just pray that this just encourages y'all just trust God for wherever you are needing him for um but just know that we constantly need him no matter what and to know that he's always going to make a way out of no way literally and sometimes and I know sometimes it's hard to grasp that okay did God do this or did I do this like did this just happen by chance or did God really do this like you have to just choose to believe like sometimes like our mind sometimes it's going to be hard to grasp some of the things that God does for us but it's like you just have to believe that it's it's not by coincidence like it's literally by it's by him it's by his it's by his power by his spirit you know so with that being said you guys i love y'all i miss y'all i don't know how long this video is gonna be like i like really want to take you guys with me on my day but it wouldn't even make sense it'd be literally all over the place as it kind of already is but i know for a fact it's gonna be like a short well, I'll probably like give you 20 minutes max but it's okay because when i do pop back y'all videos are going to hit okay okay yes i'm so excited because i feel like this is like really like i don't know y'all but yeah when i pop back the videos are gonna be on point okay and i just feel like i'm gonna really be able to utilize my space how i want to because for y'all and it wasn't even just the fact that, you know, how old the apartment was. It's just the fact that like half of that, like the couch wasn't mine. Like we not even about to go there. Just know that with this new place, I'm gonna be able to get content how I've been wanting to get content. So I'm gonna touch base with y'all. If y'all don't follow me on my social medias, I have Instagram. I do have TikTok. I'm trying to find my balance with that. Like, I, I don't know what's up with me and TikTok right recently. I don't even know how long TikTok is gonna be around much longer. They talking about they're about to ban it, cancel it, throw it in the trash can, I don't know. So I'm just kinda like, let me not even try to start trying to grow an attachment to it really. Or shouldn't even, I don't even need to be growing an attachment to anything, but let me not try to start getting this routine and TikTok ends up not being here as I'm like getting in my, my flow, my rhythm, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, girl, yeah, I'm about to go to the gym. I'm about to get this workout in and stay tuned. Follow me on my social media. If not, it's always linked in my description. But that underscore beautiful chick, that is what I'm constantly always posting on. Um, I also did start a Bible study group. It's called You Are That Girl in Christ. So um, if you're not aware, I will try to, I will link the link um, in there because I do Bible studies every Wednesdays. Um, so yeah, if you want to be a part of it, you want to grow in community with other women of God, whether you're in the beginning of your faith or you're very well seasoned in your faith, or you want to come on there and know more about Jesus and start a relationship with him. If so, hope to see you there, but I love y'all. And without further ado, I will see y'all God. Ugh, see y'all, see y'all. Without further ado, I was God willing, God willing, I will see y'all on my next video. Bye.